Hello guys and welcome to a new item tutorial and in this episode I will take a look at the personal save from Industrial Craft 2 and um, first of all we all look how we made it. Um, we um, need one chest, one basic machine casing and one electronic circuit and um, if I place it in the world um, we see we have an empty owner field and um, if I take a, a one click um, to our personal safe, we can uh, see the interface um, uh, where I can store, uh, store some items, for example. And um, now you can see the owner has changed uh, to my name, Dulaney. And um, w with an, uh, another right click to interact, we can see uh, our dot is um, already stored and um, we um, can yeah build it up and um, with an electric wrench and um but um if um there are some items yeah around it or in it um we have no chance to um collect uh, the personal safe again um we have n no um option to interact with this um personal safe from um, cables or conduits for example um, here I have a chest, um, in the, this chest is, uh, are stored another chest and um, you can see this cable goes uh, through um, to the personal safe and normally um, it should uh, transfer these um, oak chests uh, to a um, nearby um, inventory but um, that's um, th that's not okay, um, we, we can see there's um, uh, no um, connection. And um, yeah, the personless safe um, interacts with the trade mat that's the only um, option. Um, if you place the uh, trade mat next to the personal safe, the trade mat um, can use the inventory of the um, personal safe. And the personal and at least the personal safe is uh, saved by explosions um, and um, from destroying and um, I need also a lever for example to do this and um, let's take a look and um, we will go a bit far away and um, you can see um, all is destroyed um, but the personal safe is still alive and um, that's the personal safe and it's um, you can use nukes for example and the personal safe is already um, standing in the world and um, so that it is a um, very powerful item. Thanks for watching and bye.